hey what's going on guys welcome back to another tutorial in this Django tutorial series last time we left off at looking at the admin panel for Django and we also added some data in the database and in this video we are going to learn mainly two things one is the database principle and another is retrieving data from the database so database mainly works in CRUD principle meaning you should be able to create an entry in database you should be able to retrieve that data you should be able to update it you should be able to delete it and here are the codes to how you can achieve those and we are going to discuss each more detail in each videos so but for today's video we are just focusing on retrieve last time we added a movie called the dark knight so let's try to retrieve that data so to do that we need to import the models so we'll import everything and then let's declare we'll say all movies and we need to type in the table name objects dot all so what this basically is doing is it's taking all objects from the movie table meaning all entries inside the movie for right now we just have one movie let's just try to print all movies sorry all movies and let's try to reload it and then it should print this one over here and it's printing a query set so the type of this variable all movies is a query set it's going to return the results for so the sql equivalent for this one is going to be select star from movie so it means select everything from movie so let's try adding one more movie in the database and let's say we'll add Jojo Rabbit Taika Watiti cast is I'll say Scarlet so don't mind my spelling Johansson and movie it's about World War release date we can assign it anything and for right now let's just give it 8.5 and save it so right now there are two entries in our database and then this should return both the movies because we're saying select everything from the movie so let's reload it and then let's check it and it's returning a query set with two elements the dark knight and the movie jojo rabbit so this is how you retrieve something i mean retrieve data from the database and uh, in our next video we are going to talk about the HTML templates and how you can display these results in HTML templates so if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below if not thanks for watching stay tuned for my next video